The Surah Al-Kaf was revealed before some of the companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, immigrated to Abyssinia. And the companions understood then that this Surah would qualify them for what was coming from sacrifices of fleeing by the faith. So the time of the Surah's reveal played a role in preparing for the hardships. And the great things that was coming. One of the stories is the one that talks about the youth who fled with their religion holding fast to Allah until Allah harbored them in a cave that they later attributed to. It is narrated that these youth lived in a town in Jordan called Tarsus and its people were worshipping the idols, building temples for them prostrating to them, and they didn't accept that anyone harm it, and they were punishing whoever disbelieve in them and doesn't worship them. In this society in which corruption and delusion prevail, this group of youths showed up. Very few made up their minds and refused to prostrate except to their creator Allah who have the keys of everything. They believed in Allah, so He strengthened them, increased them in guidance, and inspired them to the right path. The monostatic religion spread gradually among people which disturbed the rulers of the country, and they couldn't stand the decline of idolatry while the monostatic religion spreads. So, they proceeded to confront the followers of this religion, harm and torture them. And despite their cruelty, they failed to stop the spread of this new religion. What cruel gods they worship, who are satisfied with that the human killed his brother. The real god doesn't accept the oppression and the killing. It seems like the world has gone blind. How long will we remain silent about what is happening, Maximilian? We only have the patience. But anyway, we will not stay in this country so long. What is in your mind, Maximilian? I will tell you what I think soon. Allah have strengthened these youth and made them patient and guided them to the right truth. So they said, Allah is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, not the idols. From then we would be uttering an outrage if we say it like our people say, and we will be far from the truth. <laughs> وربطنا على قلوبهم إذ قاموا فقالوا ربنا رب السماوات والأرض لن ندعو من دونه إلها لقد قلنا إذا شططا هؤلاء قوم اتخذوا من دونه آلهة لولا يأتوا our Lord, take us out of this town, which their people are oppressors, and do not give them over us away. O oh Allah, strengthen our hearts and guide us to the right path. You are the one and the only, the Lord of all and the creator of everything in this universe. Sir Maximilian, come closer, Brother Mlicha. I am sorry I interrupted your prayer. Never mind. What do you carry? I brought to you some milk. I don't have another. May Allah reward you, my brother. It will be dark, sir. I must go back with my sheep. Me too. I will go home. May Allah save you, sir.
Sir Dikianos. What is the matter, Julius? Bad news, sir. What is it? They destroyed the god statues in the great temple. Who dared to do this? And where were the gods of the temple? They were killed. Curses will come upon us if we don't find these traitors. Set up gallows and crosses. Let incinerators to teach them a lesson they will never forget. Commander Antonius, bring out the adult men among them. You, and you, you, whoever wants to save his life, so he must lead us to the traders. Execute it now. Yes, sir. This crazy is doing a massacre against people. It's my orders to revenge for the destroyed gods. Well, why didn't these gods defend themselves? What did you say, Martinus? What did you hear, father? You are repeating the words of those heretics. I am repeating the words of reason. Father, you are worshipping deaf gods who neither do harm nor benefit. So, you're one of them? And I don't rule out that you and others broke into the temple and killed its gods. I wish I was with them. Martinus. I will pretend I didn't hear anything but make sure that I won't refrain from doing what I must do towards you if you and your kind got bought off. Julius was right in his thought, Maximilian. Huh? What do you mean, sir? And which thought? The treason is in the palace. Sir, please do not believe everything this Julius says. I saw it with my own eyes and I can't deny it. What do you mean, sir? He is my son. What about him? He declared it in front of me so rudely that he is rebelling the gods and even despised them. Sir, he is still young and the youth at this age... Uh... He follows the religion of those heretics. And I don't rule out that he had a part in what happened in the temple. The idea of their staying in the town and putting their religion in danger seemed impossible. Then they decided to go out of the town. Their belief in Allah and their eagerness for the monotheism were more precious than staying in their homes and all the pleasure of life in which they grew up. Martinus was braver than us. My brother has been reckless and didn't care about the consequences. How much I fear for him from my father's tyranny. It seems that the moment of the truth and confrontation has come. Be patient, my husband, and don't push my father to do something that has bad consequences. And I cannot do what is against my faith. My father will be like a wounded lion and he won't refrain from doing anything. Let's get out of here then. Uh, let me go. What did I do? Uh, let me go. I didn't do anything. Uh, let me go. Why are you taking me? I make statues of gods and sell it. Tie them up. Come on. They are heretics and follow this new religion. Do not show mercy on them. Go ahead. Don't be lazy. Hurry up. Come on, lazy bones, move! I think you made a mistake when you revealed the truth of your faith in front of your father, Martinus. I don't care about any consequences anymore. I am fed up with what's happening. I want to speak out on my faith in front of the whole world. How long will we hide our faith, comrades? Aren't we right? Yes, we are. Hold on, comrades. We do not want to slip into any foolishness. There are eyes watching us, and the Kianos will not hesitate to do anything. If we stayed with these people, they would deceive us in our religion and torture us. Then. We leave this town and what they are worshipping. And where will we go? Allah's land is large. And this is what I decided. But we must hide our faith until the right moment comes to survive with our religion. Shh. 
Quiet. Stop talking. What is there? There is someone watching us and listening to what we say. Who is that? He is the spy who is sent by Julius. He is stalking us everywhere. Do you think he heard anything? I will handle him and shut him up forever. Oh Allah, help me. I'm totally confused. I do not know what to do. I do not want to prostrate to anyone except you. My God, inspire me to the path of guidance. The oppressors are controlling everything. When will you break them and destroy their power? Allah, do not prevent us from your mercy and stand by us in this plight. The promised day has come, the day of testing, trial and grace. The day these pagans celebrated their so-called gods. The attendants find out the absence of Maximilian and his companions. So Decianus nodded his head to Julius, who goes with his soldiers out of the temple. And this watershed moment has come after they decided to leave the homeland and family to flee to Allah. وَإِذِ اَعْتَزَلْتُمُوهُمْ وَمَا يَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا اللَّهَ فَأْوُوا إِلَى الْكَهْفِ يَنْشُرْ لَكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ يَنْشُرْ لَكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَتِهِ وَيُهَيِّئْ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَمْرِكُمْ مِرْفَقًا The youths entered a cave to hide in and take shelter in it. They needed a shelter that would protect them from the beasts or their enemies. So, the cave was a solution. I am afraid that Dekena's soldiers would catch us. We will not stay here so long, comrades. We will leave before sunrise. I feel tired and sleepy. Me too. I can't resist sleeping. I suggest that one of us stays awake so that no one can attack suddenly. Rest assured, sir, my dog will do this mission. Am hasibta an ashab al-kahf wal-raqim kanu min ayatina ajaba Ith awa al-fitiyatu ila al-kahf faqalu rabbana atina min ladun